Hello, I'm back with a candle wax reading. So this candle wax reading is for the next 15 days. Okay, whatever needs to come out. I have already um, connected with the water here and I've already blessed it and I've already connected with my guides. So let's get the game going, okay? All right. Just take a deep breath if you're joining me. I'm also going to do tarot after this. What's coming up for the collective next 15 days? Success. Popularity. For some, this may start off small. Like something you start may feel like, okay, it's progressing. Uh, but slowly, that may suddenly take off over the next 15 to 20 days. Okay? People are talking about you. People will be talking about your talent. This can be cooking. This can be anything you do. Even small simple things. There is a feeling of recognition that uh, you're going to receive. You will connect with someone who will help you expand your business. For those who are in a business, you will connect or collaborate with people. This can be two, one more person or this can be a couple of people who will suddenly enter your life or you will connect with them in a very good way and they will say, let me help you. Let's help each other. By yourself, you are a powerful person, but when you connect with the others, you are even more powerful. So don't hesitate, but do meditate with the or with each of their names and see if you really like their energies and if you can really work with them. Once you do all that, then you can go for it. Marriage is on the cards for somebody. I feel fall with this energy, October, November. Marriage is on the cards. You're going to hear of someone's marriage or you're going, your marriage is going to be fixed. This fall, 2024. Good news is on its way. Birth of a child. Birth of a child. For anyone you know, if someone's going through heart surgery or something, it will go very well. It will go very well. Nothing to fear. Overall, though, you're protected, okay? I'm getting overall protection for you and your loved ones. What is overall protection? That, yes, the guides are with you, universe is with you, God is with you, whatever you believe in is with you, protecting you. At the same time, you are also meant to make smart choices. You can't say, I am divinely protected and put your head in the uh, lion's mouth, right? I'm divinely protected. I'm di don't do that. <laughs> Next 15, 20 days at least, don't do that. Yes, you are protected. Yes, they are around you and shielding you. But they cannot, uh, there is no protection from foolishness, right? That's what I'm hearing. Don't do foolish things and expect big results. Stay within your limits. Try not to cross boundaries this week. Only help when people ask you for help. Don't rush in and say, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? I mean, ask that once or twice, but then if they don't respond or they don't reach out to you, let them reach out to you and say, yes, now I'll take your help. There is a workspace that's opening up for somebody or there is a new place from where you can work. If you've been working from home, you may connect with a, play, a studio or you may connect with a a place, a place of business that will say, can you come do your work from here, right? Or some, for some, this is a, a new office. You do need to leave the house, okay? You tend to spend, for this is for somebody here, you do need to leave the house. You tend to spend a lot of time in the house that is kind of now bordering on unhealthiness, all right? Whether we like it or not, we are part of this society and this community. We need to, at some level, connect with others on a regular basis, at some level. I don't need you to be like this extrovert party person, la la la. But at some level, try to open up a little bit. Your heart chakra is very closed. Yes, you had a lot of trauma and that may have told you not to trust people. But here you're not trusting anybody. Okay? I am seeing an energy of a scorpion here. For me, scorpion is endings and new beginnings okay but there is also this energy of a harsh sting somebody's words may sting you or your words may sting others okay you cannot control what others send you because right 
can only control your reaction to it. So if others are telling you this, 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 let them speak. You can detach. Think about your favorite moment then. Think about your favorite childhood moment. You can detach. You don't have to respond to every toxic party, every toxic conversation you're invited to. You need to learn to keep yourself away and above all this. Because they will, people will say something. It's their job. There's a need for hard work. There's a need to put all your eggs in, like put all your ducks in a row. Take care of all the things that you've been postponing maybe. It's time to pay attention to them over the next 15 to 20 days. Time is of essence here. Don't waste time. Okay, Be as productive as you can be. But if you're really tired and you need a little bit more sleep than most, please get it. Work on your sleep. Your sleep is not so great here for somebody. Again, this is a collective message. Only take those messages which resonate. But for some here, you need to work on your sleep schedule. Okay? You are breaking free from a toxic situation or toxic people. And it's not easy to break away. See, even though you know they're toxic, sometime at some point you were connected, right? Your energy was connected. So you are someone who normally struggles to let go of things. And now when it comes to people, it's even harder. So practice the art of letting go. First, let go of the things that you think are so valuable and that you're holding. Start to let go of them. That will get you into the practice of letting go. And that will also show you how freeing it is to let go of things that you don't need or you don't care for, but they're just hanging on to them for some reason. So start practicing small things. Then you can practice letting go of people. Okay? Like start the action of letting go. And detachment, please. Detachment, detachment, detachment. 99% of our suffering comes from wanting too much out of situations, people, ourselves. Learn to just be, okay? That's what I'm channeling here. I'm also not always successful in doing this, but I'm learning. I'm going to change hands again because this hand is not working for me. Change the arrangement of furniture in your house because there is some stagnation. Your furniture especially hasn't been moved in any particular area of your home for a very long time. It feels like there's a lot of stagnant energy around it and around the furniture, okay? So declutter, give away any excess furniture if you have and move furniture around so energy moves. They say right in every room move 21 things if you want to see change in your life. If you can do that, do that. But if you don't have like just do some change at least because there's a stagnation in your home. You need to cleanse your home here. Okay, so light a dhoop or light the incense or sage or do something here. Open the windows, open up everything. Let the fresh air come in and let some brand new energies come in here. Let the wind come in, okay, because that will also cleanse your home. Harnessing the power of the wind. Vayu, Vayu, Vayu. Lord Hanuman is coming through. Thank you. Thank you for coming through with love and light. He's always with you. He's always around you. You just need to connect stronger. Somebody here is very multi-talented, okay? You have many talents. And you're going to discover more talents over the coming few weeks. Pay attention. There's also a feeling of a crab. I'm getting all these hard uh, animals today, like the crab, right? That can hurt. Uh, <laughs> the scorpion, you know, I'm getting all those for some reason. I'm also seeing the beetle. Beetles for me are good luck, which is good. And magic. So some of you are going to realize that you have some magical gift that you would like to share with the world. Hopefully you'll share it. The crab talks about being extra emotional, okay? For me today, that's not what all the crab means, but it is about the past memories coming back to trouble you. Uh, just when you thought you're getting better days, you may feel a couple of days where you feel very, very, very sensitive again or very emotional over what happened in the past or what, uh, you know, what you lost. Um, 
Just move through that. Every time it comes up, it's only coming to be released. Don't take anything seriously, including yourself. Don't take your feelings and what every message your mind gives you so seriously. Okay? Try to be lighter. Lighter. Own less. Own less in real life with your physical things. Own less in your... Keep less things in your mind. So you create space for new energies, new ideas to enter. Thank you, Ma Saraswati, for coming through with love and light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a need to surrender what you cannot control. I surrender all the, my worries, fears, anxieties to the universe. I surrender. Just give it up. Whatever happens, let it be. If you hang on too tightly to a certain outcome, it's just not happening, you know. It's just not happening. The more tighter you hang on to, this is how I want it to be. This is how. It's just not happening. So let it go then. Feel it like a balloon and just see yourself releasing that balloon. There are many ways you can let go. Your heart is needs healing. Again, I'm saying that. Maybe the next 10 to 15 days you can work on your heart. Make yourself happy. Find ways to be happy. What is it, what's coming up for the collective next 15 to 20 days? Good luck. Great fortune for somebody here. Jackpot energy I'm sensing. You will make a lot of money. Just keep doing the work you're doing. Just keep doing the work you're doing. Some of you, you will connect with a celebrity. A celebrity is going to come into your life and ask for your service or your product or whatever it is that you offer. And this celebrity is going to be very impressed and going to connect you to other celebrities. So if you are an energy reader, a celebrity is very soon going to be in your radar. Very soon. When I say very soon, I feel the energy of two to three months, but it can be sooner because my intention was 15 to 20 days. So anything can happen. That's the energy we are all entering over the next few days. Anything can happen. Good, bad, ugly. <laughs> ah, gee. Right? I wish only wonderful da 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 things that mostly see it is very karmic, right? This year, so uh, have you done good things? Then expect good things, right? If you've done some shady things, then expect a little bit of shade to come back to you. But it's all for your highest good. See, whatever comes back, let it come back because it's all happening so you are aware of your impact on others, right? When you speak to others, how does it, what kind of impact are you making? Are you leaving them feeling good? When you don't speak to others, what's happening? Some of you, you abandon people before they can abandon you. Okay? But there are some people... Okay, this is a separate message. There are some people at this point you must abandon. You must leave behind. You must. You keep dilly-dallying. You think you can fix things again. You think if I'm enough of a doormat, this person will let, will everything will be okay. That's a false sense of security, first of all. Even if this person is okay with you being a doormat, which I find atrocious because who is okay with somebody else being a doormat, right? But if there are people like, okay, be a doormat, I'll be with you. That's like a very um, false uh, sense of uh, security. That's not real. That's based on you listening to this person every single time. That is based on you giving up a lot so this person can feel like you're worthy to stay with or to be in your life with. What is that? Isn't that toxic? Toxicity 101? Okay? So at what cost do you, to yourself do you want to be in other people's life? Don't worry about repercussions. Yes, there will be repercussions. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. But... Because this universe wants you to separate from these people, these repercussions are going to be very, very, very easy for you to handle. You will almost feel like their intention may be to create trouble for you or to punish you. You will actually start to see that. You start to see that everything they do is freeing you. Oh, you want to get angry? Get angry because it's actually giving me more ammunition to quit this connection. It's like that. Whatever they do, their repercussions are nothing. Because Ma Durga is here. When Ma Durga is here, trust me, others' repercussions and their toxic conversations, the way they glare at you, I'm hearing, 
the way they look at you, the way they want to put you down, that is nothing in the front of goddess. So imagine, so if you are in a confrontation with someone or someone's in this confronting energy with you, I want you to imagine Ma Durgas or anybody you believe in, any God you believe in, there they are standing between you and this person. Whatever they are saying, see Ma Durga being the filter of that. Then you are not fearful because she is taking the uh, weight of their energy. Right? And she will do what she wants with that. Right? Don't decide their fate. Okay? That's not up to you. Let her decide what. But she is your buffer. She is standing in front of you and these people. So don't fear repercussions. But again, this is only for some, whoever this is, okay? If you're not feeling strong enough to make big, bold movements in your external life, please don't take messages from a tarot reading and mess up your life, okay? Only this is for those, you know, who this is for. You know you're ready. You know you've already made some changes. You've already done some things to break free. This is for that person. This is not for someone who's still scared and who's still picking up the courage to uh, do it. Okay, take all the time you need. The courage one day will just show up. For that person who's still scared, the courage to do this will show up for you one day when your timing is right. But this is the messages I gave before are for that person who has already taken some steps to separate and now wants to go back and fix things because you're fearful of repercussions. That is for that person only, okay? Don't make rash moves that you cannot handle. Do not ever make rash moves. Even when time is on your side, even if thousand gods, goddesses, archangels are with you, whatever is with you, everybody is always with us. Ancestors are always with us. Thank you, my own ancestors showed up as I said. Thank you. But does it mean I go crazy? No, we should always decide. Weigh everything, weigh our options. If I leave this house, do I have money? Do I have the play way to sustain myself? What will happen to my children? How will they feel? Everything must be considered, right? But this is for someone who's already done all this. Okay? Break free because you will be supported. You're already broken free. Don't go back. Don't invite trouble. Let the nice people come into your life for a change, please. Who will love you, who will support you, who will guide you to be your best self. Everything within reason over the next few days, okay? Everything within reason. Don't overdo anything. Don't overdo social media. Don't overdo the consumption of food, right? Don't overdo uh, any hard work. Don't overdo anything. Bring balance into yourself and into your life. One thing at a time. Do it well. Do it nicely without anxiety. And that's a job well done. Then you probably you won't have to go back to the job if you do it well with 100% attention. Right? Mm -hmm. I keep hearing this word, this song, but I don't know the lyrics completely to that song. No, you're not alone. Da, 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 da. Oh man, I wish I knew, but I... So you're not alone, pretty much. At least take that, okay? <laughs> you're worthy of the time you spend on yourself. You're worthy of self-love. You're worthy of the attention you give your body. Take better care of your body over the next few weeks. Drink more water. Go for walks, okay? Spend time in nature. Spend time collecting your thoughts. If someone says something to you, learn to pause before you speak. A great affirmation for your throat chakra. I pause, I speak, I heal. I pause, I speak, I heal. Don't, nobody needs your response immediately. There's no prize for you immediately giving an answer to the person, right? Pause. If someone says, how is your day? Just take a deep breath and think. Think and speak. That will also increase your... Uh, um, the value people give you because you tend to be a, somebody here, you tend to be an impulsive speaker. Don't do that. Okay? Okay, I think I'm done with the candle today. <sighs> now I'll get to tarot. Just give me one second. Mm. One second.
second. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. What is the collective need to know? Bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. Okay. Fast movement is here. Fast movement. Things are not going to be slow anymore. Things are not going to be stuck anymore. There is speed coming into your life. There is grace coming back into your life, into your actions, in your thoughts. Be graceful. Be graceful. When someone, if someone apologizes, apologizes to you, be graceful. Okay? Is what I'm hearing. For some, I mean, I guess an apology is coming your way. What does the collective need to know for the next 15 to 20 days? Good luck, good luck, good luck. Massive amounts of good luck. For some property purchase or looking at a, to buy a property. For some land. Land is what I'm hearing. Investing in land. Hmm, five of pentacles. Come out of this misery, uh, miserable, uh, I feel left out, I feel abandoned energy. Come out of this. Okay? Come out of this because this has kept you stuck for a very long time. Victim mentality. Try not to, when you imagine the past, see yourself as someone who has overcome a difficult situation instead of seeing yourself as a victim of others. Yes, this is what happened to me, but look at... Where I am today, I've overcome that. So look at it like an, uh, something you overcame. Come out of this stuck energy. You're waiting for someone to come back for you. If someone has left you, you're waiting for this person to come back to you. Okay, this is for somebody here. Don't wait. This person's not coming back. Sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Because we should not wait for People, if they didn't see your worth the first time, what makes you think they will see your worth the hundredth time? Why will this person come back? Why? They didn't see your worth, right? The reason this person left is they didn't see you, they didn't see your beauty, they didn't see your golden heart, right? That's their loss. Stop waiting, please. Okay, this is for somebody here. I love you. Everybody, I know many people I think will love you, already love you because I feel your energy. You're a beautiful person. Stop waiting for miracles. Stop waiting for this person to show up in this way. That's not the miracle you want for yourself. Free yourself. I can't show this. Hold on. Uh, because I think YouTube doesn't let you show uh, Nangu Pangus. But here you go. Uh, the world card. Okay. World wants to open up for you. World wants to open up for you. Allow yourself to close this hard cycle that kept you stuck, that kept you sad, that kept you feeling like you have no power. Free yourself from it. The world, it's time, it's time, it's time because good news is on its way. Golden opportunities can be manifested by you. Manifestation powers are very strong for you. You can make anything you want happen for yourself. You can make anything you want happen for yourself. Can you not hold yourself back? Okay? Celebrations, there you go, the community I was talking about. You will connect with a brand new community for some celebrations and celebrations and more celebrations. So many that you will actually start to feel guilty for receiving all the good things, <laughs> okay? And this is not all happening in 15, 20 days, right? This is our humans creating this time limit and saying, 15, 20 days, what can I see? The universe will give you this, but I feel like the energy is here and now. And from now till the next thousand years why not say that okay celebrations happiness blessings reconnecting with good friends old friends old uh, the people you know from the past leaving behind these connections that hold you back that want to create hold you in hostage somebody wants to hold you hostage oh but you owe us that oh but this is what this is what you're meant to do don't do that okay if anybody tries to tie you I feel that you will give them a piece of your mind. I just feel like that, okay? You're moving on. You're saying, sorry, I'm moving on to my success. A lot of success is coming your way. As long as you don't allow yourself to go back to this energy. Okay? That's a you choice that you have to make. Any tarot card reader can tell you anything, but what are you doing? Okay? What are you doing? What are the daily choices you're making? All right? Page of Wands, somebody does want to come toward you. Somebody does want to make you an offer. This can be with a collaboration and sensing work-wise. This can be with love, uh, in love. Uh, somebody wants to heal the broken heart. Somebody wants to apologize. But even their apology will feel like, what is this? You know, you know, with the Indian uh, thing, dosa, 
when you eat it cold it is just like what is this right so it is like a cold offering it is not fun it is not a great apology but again the universe is saying be graceful be graceful okay let go of the confusion let go of the overthinking about the past let it be what it is now focus on i can't help the past it is what it is i'm going to focus on the present moment and what i can do for the future okay ace of wands wow brand new beginning is here your sacral chakra is going to get a revamp you're going to feel creative you're going to feel light-hearted energetic world travel is coming up at least travel to a different country i can sense here okay very soon actually for somebody here lot of air travel actually okay your communication is going to get to the point you are going to become someone over the next few years and i want to say over the next few months also where when you speak there is no there is no scope of misunderstanding from for the other person you will say it clearly you will say it calmly but like with utmost clarity there will not be any confusion okay so don't you're going to be someone who people will actually get a little scared of your tongue okay so don't take it to the extreme okay don't uh, misuse your throat chakra here but i can do see that some people who have it coming though you're going to give it to them uh some people who you want to break free from you're going to do that okay man there's just too much of uh, um nangu pangu here i cannot deal with this i may have to change my decks later uh, i can focus on the cards and the energy and the, their clothes at the same time knight of wands passion is coming back big and strong somebody who feels very passionate toward you or you will meet someone who is a very passionate connection is coming toward you again that sense of marriage is coming through for me but you are kind of still stuck in the past okay so even if this person finds you i hope when this person comes in that you have moved on to the present and to the future make the transition now make space for this new energy to come in good luck wants to come in make space happiness wants to come in there's one more happiness wants to come in good luck wants to come in your charm is on the increase if you have been holding yourself back socially you're going to step out man are you going to step out okay for somebody you're going to be big on social media you're going to be so big on social media is going to first stun you you'll be like damn i when i slept i only had this many subscribers now look at this i got up in the morning i have a million subscribers bloody fantastic okay congratulations ahead of time you're going to make it and you're going to make it big trust me i don't know why i say trust me because you don't know me in real life and but i just keep saying trust me trust me <laughs> no if you feel like this is you please trust me otherwise uh, you know um, take it for where you are if you have just been watching netflix for the past thousand years then i guess this success is still yours but it's not coming now in the next 15 to 20 days but for that person who has been working for that person who's not afraid to show up and has been showing up you are about to attract tremendous blessings tremendous fan following okay whichever social media you connect with if you are in a job and you are saying what social media i'm stuck in a cubicle right you are going to get the recognition you deserve for all the work you have done for the company if nobody saw your worth they are now going to see your worth okay six of cups there you go healing healing of the past this is healing also with a past person somebody wants to come back and say oh your family i'm so sorry it's up to you what you do with it okay it's up to you what you do with it for some this is a beautiful friend coming back from the past who was always there for you you're reconnecting with the soulmate you will travel to see this soulmate this soulmate will may travel to come toward you you're keeping nonsense at bay very soon very soon you're like talk to the hand okay if you have nothing nice to say just talk to my hand don't waste my time you're going to get into that very serious mode with people but your boundaries are going to be up which is good but don't make them too hard boundaries okay keep it still soft you're walking away definitely from people that have not served you ever and you know it for a very long time you're walking away from your own disappointment this is today i'm seeing that this is someone hold on let me cover this nangu pangu here okay this is someone today who is walking away from their own disappointments at how certain things worked out or didn't work out in the past you have been in this energy of i am disappointed for a very long time you're now saying enough is enough i'm going to let go of what didn't work out who didn't work out and i'm creating a brand new universe for myself 
and universe is definitely happy with this and is blessing your brand new beginning where you start to focus on yourself your healing your self love your growth what can i do to make myself better how can i for example again tarot reader right how can i do more learn more about tarot how can i connect in a more stronger way with my guides all of that you're going to change all this wasted energy of oh this person or oh, that person or oh, this situation you're going to transmute it transmutation okay it's a very powerful thing transmutation all right you're going to transmute this yucky energy into this beautiful divine bliss energy where i love me i love nature i love god i love universe i love whoever i believe in the higher beings right i love myself and i'm now going to focus on myself my skin my health my doctor checkups my water intake make it about you for some time everybody else will be okay okay nobody will and the more you do this the more glow up i'm telling you one more card and then i'm done thank you very much Ah, G. Okay, sorry. I almost dropped all of them. What does the collective need to know? We have fifteen, twenty days. King of Cups. There you go. Some of you are connecting with a partner who is emotionally balanced. But for me today, I'm reading this as divine masculine, feminine within you, where you are learning to balance your emotions. You're healing your emotions. You're bringing yourself back into control. Okay, how not to overreact? Please learn that. not everything requires an overreaction from you some of them need a reaction from you some of them need no reaction from you so get that wisdom within you what requires my attention what requires my reaction is it is it okay if i don't react in this situation am i supposed to react to every trauma drama am i supposed to react to everything try to balance yourself here focus on money please focus on your own growth and stability please okay because you are building a legacy you are on your way to becoming a spiritual teacher for somebody here you are on your way to becoming the guide for millions of people mark my words okay you are about to be a guide for millions of people this can be any which way you can just be serving fresh food to beggars and you will be serving them to many people who are starving that may be just what you're being but you're being a leader here an undeniable leader okay nobody can look at you and say she or he is not a leader undeniable authority is coming to you after all these years of being a slave and i'm sorry if that word is triggering but for somebody here you need to hear it from slavery to self mastery i may just call this reading that <laughs> from slavery to self mastery come on now okay beautiful i love this i love this i wish i could go on but i won't but bottom of the deck eight of pentacles work 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 money looks good this is your golden era this is where you manifest the physical realities of yourself and your life your beauty your physical beauty pay attention to that pay attention to your hair pay attention to your nails oh i'm going to hide my nails as i say because they are not at all pretty but you know what i mean they pay attention to yourself i'm also as similar boat as you why do you think i've attracted you to this video i am not above you i'm not believe beneath you i'm with you okay i'm with you that's why that keeps me humble always i have so much to learn so much to learn okay in this lifetime but here you go paying attention to yourself a special project could be for coming in for somebody here okay massive amounts of wealth could come in from this special project you will need help though you cannot do it all you cannot clean the house cook uh, do this do that do child care and then have this vibrant great life what can you delegate start to think like that what can i ask where can i ask people to help who can help me right sometimes you have to pay for help because family is too busy then family is too busy okay goli maro where can i then outsource help where can i outsource help where can i save money then if i don't have money to outsource help how can i make more money or where can i save so i can get afford that i want you to just focus on yourself please focus on yourself please focus on your gifts and talents and your abilities and what you can share because that is bringing you tremendous amount of abundance 
Oh, look at that. Did you see me take out the car and it even? That is bringing you tremendous amount of happiness, stability and structure to your family life. Balance out yourself. And this is also Archangel Michael for me and Archangel Gabriel. And sometimes he feels like Archangel Raphael's energy to me. They keep changing on me. But today, Archangel Michael, thank you for coming through with love and light. Thank you for keeping us safe and divinely protected now and always. Thank you. Archangel Michael is saying, where are you imbalanced? Okay? Pay attention to that because that is where the magic is. Once you find balance in your life, once you find balance in your speech, once you balance out the give and take, right? Not overly giving to people who are overly demanding. Not depleting yourself. First paying, filling your cup up completely, even if you feel like an egoistical person, but say things to yourself like, I am beautiful. I am golden. Everything I touch turns into gold. I'm attracting miracles. Miracles are here now. Miracles are here now. Good news is here and now. Okay, I want you to like, I am worthy, I'm worthy, I'm worthy, I'm worthy. Till the cows come home, keep saying all these things to yourself. Especially when you're te you tend to sit and think about the past. When you tend to brood. When you tend to waste valuable time and emotions on spilt like, things, you know. Usually I like the Queen of Cups. Today though, she's appearing as a very, um, like a whiny <clears throat> Today she's appearing as a, my, my guides are like, do you want to say that? But I think so. You, you know me enough. You know how crazy I am. Today she's coming across as a whiny child to me for some reason. Okay. Why me? Why them? Why this? No. Yes. Everything was unfair. Yes. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. All right. You're better because of that experience. You've grown. You're wiser because of that experience. So don't, don't do this, don't do this self-pity party here. Come out of it and start to celebrate. I celebrate myself. I celebrate success. I celebrate good news. Like say these things even though it doesn't feel like a reality because then you will definitely bring it in. Bring it in. Bring in the abundance. Call it in. Your, your effort is needed here. I am abundant. I am financially independent. Okay, I am attractive. I attract good, healthy, balanced relationships and friendships. I attract good, healthy, balanced relationships and friendships. I'm well supported by Earth, Mother Earth. All right, beautiful. So this is what I have. I can go on, but I don't want to bore you. But from here, see, we started the spread with five of pentacles and we're moving to nine of pentacles. I just showed you that card. So there is, universe is guiding you out of this trauma. Universe is guiding you out of this into that, oh, high priestess. The cards, this is why, this is why I love what I do, okay? I'm a, first of all, I love storytelling. And this is such a beautiful story here. The energy is just beautifully growing for you, okay? You are meant to serve the masses, all right? I will leave you here. I don't want to make the video too long, but one last thing is from five of pentacles, you're moving to nine of pentacles, growth, expansion, opportunities, good luck, happiness. Okay. Lot of blessings always. Please let me know what you think. Okay. Thank you.